Am I the asshole? For kicking my friend out after she said I was treating my dog like a servant? I F27 recently moved into my new house. I have a golden retriever named Nala and she is the sweetest. I'm deaf, too. That bit is important. When I moved in, I had a bit of trouble having flashing light doorbells put in and there was a while I had to go without. My friends and family know to give me a call when they drop by instead of ringing the doorbell but unfortunately I have missed many a package this way. For some reason, Nala caught on to this. At one point she began letting me know when someone was at the door. She'd do this in multiple ways. If I was in the living room where I can see the front door, she'd go and paw at the door, or if I was upstairs she'd come and gently headbutt me to let me know someone's there. It took me a while to catch on to what she was trying to do, though. And now, even though I have my doorbell installed she still does it. I did not teach her how to do any of this. She just decided to help me out lol. I brought a friend over for the first time recently. This is the first time she's met Nala as well. The first thing she comments on is how I named her Nala, because apparently everyone and their grandma names their golden Nala. Lion King was my favorite movie growing up, sue me. Then I showed her a video of Nala pawing at the door because it got a bit awkward after that comment. It's usually a great icebreaker. She laughed and thought it was cute. I showed her another one. She asked me why Nala was doing that and I explained. She doesn't say anything for a minute and then goes so, she's basically your servant? Is she just here to get the door? I was thoroughly done with her judgmental ass by that point and I just asked her to leave. She left, but she did message me afterwards saying I was rude as fuck kicking her out after she traveled all the way to see me, and that how else was she supposed to think of my dog with videos like that? Not the asshole. Maybe you should get Nala to show your friend the door. Not the asshole. Nala sounds like a wonderful dog so smart and you sound like an excellent dog parent. Clearly your friend doesn't know anything about dogs, particularly golden retrievers, who thrive on having jobs to do. Good for you for asking your friend to leave after her rude and judgmental comments. Not the asshole, your friend is so wrong it's funny. Retrievers were created to bring things to their humans, that's what retriever means. Since Nola can't pick up the person at your door and bring them to you, she opted for second best option notifying you and letting you do the actual retrieving. Pat Nola on the head from me and explain to your friend that dogs love to be useful. Not the asshole. Yeah, she is a judgmental asshole. Dogs love interacting with their owners. Realizing that her actions are actually useful to you and make you happy makes your dog happy. Which is why Nala keeps doing it. Dogs can enjoy things that we consider repetitive and mind-numbing. My neighbor has a dog that can play catch for literally hours. If its human tries to stop, she will place the ball in his hand. If human still refuses to throw, she looks for another human. Not the asshole. A lot of dogs actually love working, which is why they're called working dogs. Also damn has she never heard of a service dog? You can decide how you want to move forward with the friendship but I wouldn't. Not the asshole. How else is she supposed to think? How about think that this dog is more than a dog? Somehow this dog realized that its owner had a disability and found a way to help with that. Out of love. This is actually one of the most beautiful things I have ever heard. Your friend trying to turn it into some sort of animal exploitation story is twisted and awful. It speaks volumes that she would immediately go there as opposed to seeing this sweet animal as anything other than a caring friend. Actually kind of gross. Info are you paying the dog a living wage? Not the asshole. Dogs love jobs and it's not like you're abusing your dog. Sounds like she loves to be helpful. Obviously not the asshole. Your golden sounds like a sweet baby and will be a much better friend to you than this person if someone was rude to my dog I'd tell them off too. Also, I'm in a 55k member golden retriever group and can't remember ever seeing one named Nala. Not sure what she's on about.
not the asshole, first, it is a behavior your dog developed on its own and not a result of training. Second, telling you someone is at the door is roommate behavior, not servant behavior. If you were living with a human and they didn't let you know there is someone at the door for you because they didn't want to be your servant that would get pretty tiresome pretty quickly. Lastly, service dogs exist because some dogs are really good at it and like what they do. Your friend was rude first so your reaction was proportional. Not the asshole. Nala learned by herself. Maybe Nala is going to teach herself to ignore certain people at the door. Not the asshole. Your dog literally taught itself to be your service dog. Dogs want to please. She obviously doesn't know anything about dogs. And if you ever speak with her you can tell her my Nala was a grey and white Himalayan cat. Not the asshole. That is adorable. Your dog is so smart. Please pay the dog tax, smiley face. Not the asshole. It's completely normal behavior for a dog to alert its person that someone is at the door, regardless of hearing status. You're lucky, my German shepherd alerts me by barking at the door as if the Huns were invading. She only stops when I tell her, we're all right, I got this. Your Nala is very smart and chill. Not the asshole. Labs and Goldens are wonderful working breads that love to task. Which is why they make such wonderful service dogs. Nala has shown proficiency and could be trained as a wonderful backup to technology in your life. She already trained herself in one area you were having issues. That's part of the beauty of a relationship with a dog. Your dog obviously loves you and wants to help you. I'm sure you give Nala all the pets and cuddles she deserves. Not the asshole. Dogs were bred over who knows how long to help people. You're not treating her like a servant, you're treating her like a dog. If you were actually treating her like a servant, you'd have to pay her and let her leave at the end of her work shift. Not the asshole. Dogs are intelligent and very loving creatures, especially towards their owners. Your dog is also one of the most popular when it comes to service animals, so it makes a lot of sense that this behavior came naturally to her. You take care of your dog every single day you are in no way neglecting your dog. She's found a pattern and was capable of providing a solution. That is really amazing you didn't force her to do it, and it wouldn't be an issue if you did. You're kidding. Nala sounds like an absolute brilliant badass she taught herself how to have a job. They love having jobs. You are not the asshole but this alleged friend certainly is. Imagine, virtue signaling outrage because a dog has a job. Bloodhounds and cattle dogs must really chap her ass. Not the asshole, dogs love being helpful. Even if you had deliberately trained her to do this it would be perfectly fine because lots of dogs have jobs and work and are happy doing so. Your friend is being overly critical and I don't blame you if you don't invite her over against. Not the asshole. Your friend sounds like an unkind person. She made fun of your dog's name and the fact that Nala learned how to assist without being asked or trained to do so. Good for you for kicking her out.